Let me show you how you can create pixel perfect layouts based on designs. First, I have a test application here. You can find it under this URL. And I also have designs in Figma. So first of all, you can see here that these icons should be aligned with the logo here. And this is obviously not the case here. So something is off with these designs. But my developer eye doesn't really recognize any other mistakes I, I made here. So how can we check that our CSS matches the designs? There's a really nice extension for Chrome called Perfect Pixel. I can recommend you to download it. I already installed the extension here. And what you can do is add an image overlay so you can cross check your website with the designs. First of all, where do we get this overlay from? If you have a design in Figma, you can easily click export on any of the um, elements in the design. So this is downloaded now. And then coming back here, we can simply upload this. Now we can already see that the designs here, uh, there's an overlay. You can increase the opacity. You can move it around here, for example. The position here, 0, 0, is already quite good, but you can see that the logo is well aligned, but the menu items are not. There's a problem with the horizontal and the vertical alignment. So how can we fix that? The fastest way to debug our CSS is to inspect the elements in the DevTools. So first we have to disable the overlay, then we can click inspect and now enable it again. So the first item here is this one and it doesn't seem to be aligned vertically. As you can see, it has a padding, so we might want to change this here. So let's try 0, 05. Okay, looks a bit better already. And 0, 075, yeah. So that looks good as um, uh, horizontal alignment. Now we actually broke the vertical alignment. So we can see that this has now a height of 64 pixel. Let's check the designs. This should be 51 pixel. Actually, 51 pixel is a really strange number. We usually have multiples of like 4, 8, 16 pixel. So 48 would be a reasonable number in our design system. So probably there's a mistake in the designs. But since this is a pixel perfect design exercise, Let's stick with a 51 pixel for now. So back in our dev tools, we can see that um, there's actually some top and bottom padding as well as a fixed height. Since usually this kind of um, menu items would be on a single line, um, I think we can just get rid of the um, uh, vertical padding. So we do it like this and then fix the height to 51 pixel. Okay, perfect. Now you can already see that the project's uh, menu item is really well aligned. Now we can see that uh, the other items actually do not align yet. And it looks like all these styles weren't applied. So let's check. Um, yeah, so the styles, the changes that we did before didn't apply here. The reason is that this has a different um, class. So let's change these as well and we did 0 and 0, 0.75 okay this looks a lot better already now we can see that the items don't align vertically and it seems like the lower items um, actually are worse aligned now this is actually a good place to pause the video for a moment and have an exercise can you figure out how to vertically align the menu items so that they match the designs? You can find the link to the website and the designs in the description of this video. We'll continue in a bit. So let's see, let's check the designs again. We can see how the menu items are positioned uh, next to each other by simply clicking one item and hovering over the other. So we can see that there's a four pixel margin. Let's check how our CSS looks like. And you can see we have zero pixel here. So let's add four pixel. 
Okay, this already looks really nice. Um, the only thing that I recognize here is that something with the settings um, menu item is off. So these all align perfectly, but this one doesn't. Now, you have to know that designs are not always perfect. And uh, we can check out this one here in comparison to this. So you can see the settings um, menu item has a height of 40 pixel and it doesn't take the whole width. So obviously the designer made a mistake here and uh, we probably should have uh, listened to our gut feeling and just used the 48 pixels here. So I prepared a fixed design already and we can load that. So with the fixed designs, you can see that the alignment is uh, off again, which makes sense. Like the new height of all these elements is 48 pixel. We also need to change this one here. And now, as you can see, it almost matches perfectly. There's still a small problem with the settings, but you will never get to 100%. And this is actually also not the goal of this exercise. Now the last step is to double check that the support and collapse button actually match. And we can do so by either um, aligning the browser window size with the height of the uh, designs. And the design height is, let's see, 960 pixel. You can see it here. Or we use the respon responsive window here and just type 960 pixel and as you can see this perfectly aligns now the lesson to take away here is that you can use this perfect pixel extension to double check your css a lot of us developers don't really have a designer eye so it's hard to see like small mismatches between website and design but in many real world projects you won't be bothered by the designers to make a design 100 percent pixel perfect this often doesn't make sense and is a waste of time but it's good to know this technique anyways.